This video is going to show you how to create macros to recalculate a report and send data. Make sure that macros and trust access to VBA project model are enabled in Microsoft Excel macro settings. In this video, we use the reports created in the course how to create a summary report in Excel, and data send in the course how to create a basic generic data send, as examples. First, to create macro to the recalculate report, open Excel workbook containing the report to write a macro for. For example, the account balance report. Go to view on the Excel menu, choose macros. Then click view macros. The macro window is now displayed. Specify the macro name. For example, recalculate report. Then click the create button. VBA project window is displayed. Between sub and end sub statements, insert the following. QAA macro dot recalculate worksheet. Sheet name in the brackets. Replace sheet name in the brackets with the name of the worksheet containing the report. In this case, the worksheet name is account balances. To run Q and A macro, Reference Info Query and Analysis Evolve must be available in the References tool. To check, click Tools in the menu. And then, select References. On References, VBA Project Window, tick, Info Query and Analysis Evolve. Then click OK. Then, click the Save button to save the VBA project. There is a message warning VB project features cannot be saved in macro free workbooks displays. Click no then. A save as dialog displays on the screen. Select save as type, Excel macro enabled workbook. Then click save. To close the VBA project window, select the file menu, then choose close and return to Microsoft Excel. Next. We will create a button which when clicked, will run the macro. To do that, click on insert, select shapes and choose the shape you want. For example, rounded rectangle. Then, click on the worksheet and then drag to place the shape. Right click on the shape and select edit text. After that, add text to the created shape. This text is visible on the button. For example, the text we add in this shape is run. You may format the text and the shape. Next is to assign the macro created earlier to this shape. To do that, right click on the shape and select assign macro. On the assign macro window, select the macro name that we created earlier. And then click OK. The shape we have created becomes a button now. This button is to run your macro. These are all the steps to create a macro to recalculate the account balance report. Next, I will show you how to create a macro to execute an internal data send definition. It is basically all the same steps as when we created macro for account balance report. First, open the Excel workbook containing data send internal definition to write a macro for. Go to view macros by clicking the macros in the view menu. On macro window, Specify the macro name. For example, ledger send data. Then click the create button. Between sub and end sub statement, insert QAA macro.data send. Internal definition name. Replace internal definition name with the name of your data send internal definition. In this case is ledger import mapping. Remember to tick in for query and analysis evolve in the references tools. Then click OK. Save your VBA project. Remember to click no when the message warning displays that the VB project features cannot be saved in macro free workbooks. Then choose to save as type Excel macro enabled workbook and click save. Then from the file menu, Select Close and return to Microsoft Excel to close the VBA project. The final step is to create a button to run the macro when you click on. You also have to create a shape by selecting the shape in the Insert menu. Choose the shape you want. For example, 
rounded rectangle. After creating the shape by dragging on the screen, right-click to select Edit Text, in this case, the text is Send Data. You may format the shape as you want. To assign macro created earlier to this shape, right-click on the shape and click Assign Macro. On the Assign Macro window, select the macro name that you created earlier which is Ledger Send Data. Then click OK. The shape send data is now at the button. This button is to run your macro. The lesson is finished. See you next time.